More than four decades after it wound up business, the name of the modern theatres, one of South Indian cinema's pioneering production houses, is back in the news. This time, the buzz is not on the silver screen, but on the volatile political screen. What is this controversy all about? Welcome. This is T. Suresh Kumar and thank you for joining me in this episode of the Hindu Focus Tamil Nadu. Today we shall discuss a controversy surrounding a plot a measuring a little over off a ground that originally belonged to the modern theatres, the history of this production house and how it has been intertwined with the Dravidian politics in Tamil Nadu. The modern theatres was established sometime in the mid 1930s by T. R. Sundram who had returned from England after a obtaining a degree in textile engineering from the Leeds University. This production house is credited with churning out numerous hit films uh, for a period of over 40 years. It had launched the careers of many actors, uh, writers and lyricists. The production house was originally located on an 8.9 acre property on the Aircard Salem Highway. After being in the business for more than 40 years, the family decided to give up the production business. Later, this property changed hands. Sometime in 2004, this was purchased by Ravi Verma, a real estate businessman, who then converted it into a housing layout. Today, all that stands in memory of the modern theatres is just an arch at the entrance of this property with the words, the modern theatres limited, embossed on it. Abutting this arch is a property that measures about 1347 square feet according to Ravi Verma. Last week, Ravi Verma claimed that he and his family members were under pressure to sell this property to the government. He claimed that the Salem collector had had multiple meetings with him, asking him to hand over this property to the government for the purpose of installing a statue of former Chief Minister M. Karunanadi there. According to Ravi Verma, this demand came up soon after Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. K. Stalin had visited the modern theatre's premises and taken a selfie in front of the arch sometime in February this year. Verma has also said that his family feared for their life. However, Highways Minister E. V. Velu has gone on record denying this claim. According to the minister, the highways department had decided to undertake survey of properties belonging to it across the state and during one such survey undertaken earlier this month, it found that the place where the modern theatre's arch is located actually belongs to the highways. The minister says that this plot of land measuring 1347 square feet actually falls under the category of Salai Porambok, which is nothing but a road Porambok belonging to the government and therefore the highways department has marked it as its property. Besides, Velu has said that the government does not intend to install any one statue on that plot. He also told the Hindu that as per the Supreme Court's ruling, a statue cannot be installed on a highway or on a road and therefore there is no such plan for the time being. Now let's look at how the modern theatres is intertwined with Dravidian politics and particularly with the life of M. Karunanadi. As a young man, Karunanadi had left his hometown of Tiruvarur and gone to Coimbatore where he stayed in a small house which he had taken on rent for rupees 10. Karunanadi had described this house as a sparrow's nest where he wrote dialogues for films. He wrote the dialogues for a mythological film, Abhimanyu. But when Karunanadi went to the theatre with his wife to watch the film, he was deeply disappointed to note that the credits did not have his name. And thereafter, he left for his native place, Tiruvarur. While Karunanadi was engaged in political meetings and writings, his friend Sharif, who worked in modern theatres, approached him saying that T.R. Sundram was impressed with his dialogue writing styles and wanted to engage him in the production house. And that's when Karnanadi shifted base to Salem and he joined the modern theatres for a monthly salary of rupees 500. And it is here that Karnanadi wrote the dialogues for the film Mandiri Kumari, which in his own words upon its release went on to create a revolution of sorts in Tamil Nadu. 
Mandiri Kumari, incidentally, was also one of the earliest hit films of M.G. Ramachandran, who also went on to become Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, and the film was directed by an American, Ellis Duncan. Having spent the early years of his film life at the modern theatres, the production house had a special place in Karnanadi's heart. Not just for him, even for his son M.K. Stalin, the place was special, and that is why after taking over as the DMK president following the death of Karnadadi in August 2018, Stalin conducted the first political agitation as president of the DMK in Salem. In fact, on that occasion, Stalin had said that Salem was Karnadadi's adopted home with which he had ties for nearly seven decades. It is against this backdrop that one has to see this so-called proposal to install a statue for Karnadadi near the modern theatre's arch. Given this controversy and also the fact that the plot in question is located on a highway, it would augur well for the government not to install any statue there. There are better ways to honour Karnanadi's legacy and in fact there are better things on which the government needs to devote its attention. As I record this video, deep down south in Tamil Nadu, normal life has been paralyzed following historic rains in the districts of Kanyakumari, Tirnalveli, Tutukodi and Tenkasi. So the government needs to pay attention to not just the relief and rescue operations there. It's a calamity that has stuck just a fortnight after Chennai and its surroundings were marooned. The government would do well to focus its energies on handling issues such as climate change, building flood resilient infrastructure and other things than installing a statue if that's the case. I shall meet you in another video. Until then, this is D. Suresh Kumar signing off.